I, I thought I never left home. I said like, where are the güeritos? Mm. You know, I have so many uh, every mo every summer that I take to the to the Caribbean, to the Mayan ruins, to the you know the sites to see, and and then I come here and they all look like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I, we drove five days from Merida here nonstop across the the Republica, and then there's no güeras. So I better go <laughs> home. You know, that's where the action is. Mm. Do you remember and what the drive was like? The drive, uh -huh. it was wonderful coming from Merida. I see a lot of scenery. I used to do a lot of hitchhiking on my hippie days as well, because we exposed to you know to different cultures, and but I never seen it like that because you know it was just driving and looking at the scenery. There were rainy days, sunny days, people waking up with the burros or the mulas and the papas and the pepes, going to work and it's hazy. And it was great. It was great. I wish I could do that again, and, and this time I will bring a camera with me, because I lost so many shots. I missed so many shots. I mean, I was like, wow. It's, you know, it's the artistic mind. It is, it's like you're taking mental pictures of all that color and this. And I was like, and, but the, the best part and the worst part, I remember, is crossing the desert, because uh, we have no water in the car, no air conditioner. We were in a Granada, for Granada, 1970. Six, some seventy-five, something like that. That my dad was driving, and crossing the desert was a point where I, my my lips started to bleed, start breaking and bleeding. So I pull out my handkerchief and I have to wet my lips with my saliva because it was like very painful. Until finally we found a spot and got some water, but we were yeah, almost on our way out of the desert. That's that's the part that I I'll never never forget. And you were in a car inside the car with, with my dad and two more guys, two hitchhikers.